So we're going to come onto our four point kneeling now. Transition movements can often be the most challenging part of doing any of your home exercise, so do take care. I've got my knees glued shut together. I'm going to slide my bottom away from the direction that I'm going to roll to. So I'm sliding my bottom towards the right hand side of the bench. I then log roll. So my right arm is going to come on over to help roll me in one piece onto the side of my body, ensuring that I keep those knees together. I'm then going to come onto my forearms and I'm going to endeavour to keep this rectangle flipping over in one, one fell swoop into this position. So one setup version is in forearm position. So you can see my elbows are beneath my shoulders, my forearms are flat and I'm just going to bring my knees and shins into the hip width apart position. Gravity, of course, is a little bit of a challenge here. It wants to make me drop through my ribs and drop through my head and neck. So I need to push into the forearms and into the base of my throat to come into this plank aligned spine and with a sense of the crown of my head reaching away from my tail. I'm not letting it drop to the bench. I'm keeping my head away from my tail. And we rock backwards and forwards. And as we rock backwards and forwards, we're wanting to imagine that we've got three points of contact with a, an imaginary foam roller. So I have my back of my head, my bra strap and my pelvis are staying in line with a broom handle that's resting on the top of my spine forwards and backwards. There may be another option if that's not feeling comfortable for you in your back pain. We can bring your hands directly beneath your shoulder joints and we can sway backwards and forwards. What tends to happen is as we sit backwards, sometimes the pelvis does this and it goes into a scoopy forward cat stretch position. We don't want that to happen. We want to keep the tail or your sit bones with headlights looking directly behind you and then forwards. In this forwards position, our ribs can want to drop to the floor. We need to keep them closed so that you're keeping your front ribs connecting into your back ribs. Equally, the head is very tempted to fall into what I call my guillotine bucket, and we don't want that. We want the back of the scruff of your head and neck staying on the peg so that your head is on your peg and your spine is nicely lengthened as you hinge forwards and backwards. We come to a centre position. We can rock from side to side. I'm leaning my shoulder and my hip to the side. If I'm not, I can end up doing a little bit of a tail wag. And we don't actually want a tail wag right now. We want to lean into the right shoulder and the right shin. Lean into the left shoulder and the left shin. Keeping height in the spine with your breath, coordinating at a pace that's comfortable for you so that your rectangle remains parallel with the bench. And then we come back into the centre. Now, if you're on your bed, you'll then just be able to bring both knees towards each other and sit round onto your bottom and swing your shins down, using your arms to push you forwards. And then in a second, we're going to go through coming from sit to stand.